I, along with Premier Ford and our entire government, ran on a commitment to end hallway health care. It is a commitment that we take very seriously. This has been a defining priority of our government since day one. But one thing I do want to make very clear is our government's commitment to the fundamental right of Ontarians to universal access to a publicly funded system of health care. I am also announcing that our government has established a new agency, Ontario Health, to do this important work. To bring the best of our system together and form deep roots that will put our health care system on a solid foundation for the future. It will be a single and harmonized home for programs and operations of existing provincial agencies. Ontario Health will begin to take shape this spring. When you will amalgamate all those agencies into this larger agency, uh, of course you will not need that number of uh, middle uh, middle range administrators and perhaps even some uh, senior administrators. I think that the money needs to be put into frontline care. We have been saying that for a long time. Care coordinators located in primary care instead of in the limbs will provide, they're not managers, they're nurses, they will provide frontline care, care coordination and system navigation. The Minister isn't suggesting that today is the only component of her plan to end hallway health care, but what she's saying is we're trying to reduce red tape, we're trying to um, eliminate excessive third-party oversight and allow those local providers to deal with those local health care needs on an urgent and expedited basis, because the longer we wait, the longer we allow the status quo to be in place, uh, the, the worse the situation is going to get.